Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and as you can tell from the title and from what I have in front of me, this is going to be kind of like a review demo of the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. These are their new lashes and they're also new to me. I haven't used the magnetic lashes before and I also bought the lash applicator, the clip, to see if it makes the process easier. So I'm going to be showing you guys my first experience using these. And for more beauty and everything about cruelty-free and vegan lifestyle, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And without talking anymore, let's begin. And I want to thank you guys already for watching because I'm getting sick, I'm getting a cold, my throat is hurting, and I have a little bit of a headache. But here I am filming for you guys. <laughs> and something that I always look for, maybe because I studied graphic design and I'm really visual, I like to observe designs from any sort of packaging and I really like their design. I like how here on the side they added black and white stripes <clears throat> and they made Sorry, and this is not how I usually sound. It's just that my voice is a little bit harsher than it usually is. I am getting sick. I also like the pink. It's a glossy. Everything else is matte. And these two images, the previews on the bottom, they're glossy too. It's just a cute design. <clears throat> Okay, something I should have read before, before I started the application, I'm reading the helpful tips. And it says not to curl your natural eyelashes before applying these. And I did that. I curled them and I applied mascara to film to look good. <laughs> so... <laughs> As you can see, I'm doing bad. <laughs> And even before starting to film, I drank water with lime juice so it can help me. So reading both instructions, the instructions behind the box that comes with the eyelashes, it explains how to apply them using your own fingers. And then the other box explains how you can use the applicator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first apply them using my own fingers and then using the applicator just to see if it makes any difference. Okay, I have my mirror in front of me and I brought my glass of water with lime juice. <laughs> so let's begin. I don't know why I feel a little bit nervous applying magnetic eyelashes. <laughs> <sighs> It's really useful. It tells you which are the upper lashes and which are the under lashes. I'm going to start with my right eye. So the only thing you're supposed to do, it says to apply it on top of your natural lash. And then the other, the one on the bottom, just apply it underneath. So far, so good. Now the bottom one, when you blink, they start moving out of place. It keeps sticking to my finger because of the glue that it brings. Oh my gosh, it's pinching my eye. They stuck to each other by themselves, oh my gosh. Oh man, so far it doesn't seem easy. Second try. Oh my gosh, see it just sticks to my finger. So they are connected, but it's like in the middle of my lashes, not like all the way to the end where it should be. 
Oh my gosh. I feel like if I pull them, they're just gonna... Whenever I pull it, I'm afraid that it's gonna pull my eyelashes. Third try. <gasps> oh my gosh. I thought this was going to be so much easier. This is not easy. Oh. oh my gosh. Towards the inside, it's loose, like it's outside. And then it's so hard to go back and fix it. It's like you have to start all over again. Oh man. The taking out part. Oh. To take it out super easy, all you do is kind of like twist it, but gently, and it comes right off. Okay, just because I was super close, I'm gonna try one more time. I don't know if closing my eye will help. Actually, oh my gosh, I put the wrong one on the top. Again. Ooh, I kind of got it, but not quite. Oh my gosh, that's the closest I could get. <laughs> okay, I know it looks kind of funny, but I'm gonna leave it as it is, and I'm gonna try on my other eye with the applicator this time. I honestly thought this would be easier. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how to even put it on the clip. It's a little bit confusing in the beginning. Oh my gosh, it's even so hard to get it to stick on the clip. I was able to put the bottom lash. Wish me luck with the top lash. Ooh, I got it this time. I have both right here. So let's see if it's easier using the clip because as you can see, this lash, it's terrible. Okay, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> I clipped it together and they came right off. Oh my goodness, I failed my first try. Okay, this time it was, it was so much easier to put it on the applicator. I did it in like five seconds. Second try. Please stay, please stay. It's quite hard because as you're like when you open this and you're trying to take this out like it's staying attached to this because this has magnetic as you're like trying to pull away the lashes are staying on this on the applicator right now they look much worse than this side I hope you guys can tell I honestly thought using the applicator would be easy and it's not to take them off it's easy Okay, I got the hang of it as far as applying it to the applicator. Third try. No! Oh! <gasps> oh! I think I kind of got it. Oh man, like here on the inside, it's like super close to the lash line. But here on the outside, it's kind of in the middle. And that was when I was opening the clip, the clip was pulling it. But other than that, it would have been perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. They both look bad. And maybe because I'm not used to using lashes on a regular basis, to me, this length looks a little bit exaggerated. I love long lashes, but I guess not this long. Um, they still look great. And it's something that I think maybe with more practice, I'll get the hang of it. For now, I do recommend it. Because we're all different. What if maybe for me it's hard and maybe for some of you it may be easier. Maybe I'm just not used to doing this. I don't know, but I don't think it looks terrible. So far it looks okay. And apart from that, it's not too expensive. I think I spent like $10 on the lashes and like 3 or $5 on the applicator. I don't remember too well. 
So thank you guys for staying until the end and watching me even though I'm not feeling well. Overall, I think they are a great option and I think even though they cost a little bit more than regular eyelashes, on the long run, you will be saving so much money because these you can use over and over again. And I think that's why I don't use the other lashes that you apply with glue so often because I think personally, I get a little bit lazy applying it with the glue and then taking it off, but these would make the process so much easier so i really hope i can get the hang of it because i would be using them all the time and apart from that this would become like an eco-friendly option because that means you would have to buy lashes less often so that's another pro and another pro for me is that it's not made with real animal hair so that makes it cruelty free i love that so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up up i invite you to subscribe to the channel and you can follow me on all social media pages with the same name linsire in the meantime i'll continue drinking my water with lime i've had a headache throughout this whole video i'm not feeling well but thank you for sticking around thanks for watching and until next time kisses bye